Hey guys, you're welcome back to SNS Kitchen. You're very welcome. If you are new here, a warm welcome to you. Okay, so today I'll be making three flavorful ice cream. We're going to be making mango, strawberries, and vanilla. So let's delve into the making. And to start with this recipe, I'll be needing five containers of heavy whipping cream. I live in Germany, so it's called Schlagzahn. Yeah, so I'm going to introduce that into this glass bowl. When I'm done adding that, I'm going to introduce my Zahnesteif. If you can't find Zahnesteif here in Germany, look for Zahnefest. They're all the same thing, okay? If you have a very good whipping cream, you don't need this Zanefest or Zanesh type. You just have to whip it up and you get your cream. Yeah, so it just doesn't matter, but I love making use of my Zanesh type. It binds it thoroughly. So I covered my bowl with my bowl cover to avoid splashing. Then I whip this for three to five minutes and I realize this thick consistency. And that is done. So next I'll be adding the rest of the ingredients, which are the condensed milk and the vanilla flavor. Guys, you can make this anytime in your household it doesn't require much ingredients to prepare if you have your whipping cream if you have your Zanefest you can as well do without Zanefest if you have your flavor and your condensed milk your ice cream is there okay so I'm gonna introduce my flavor which is vanilla flavor I'll mix thoroughly to combine and I'll be dividing this into three portions Remember, we are making three flavors, okay? So I'm just done with the base, and the base is also concentrated vanilla flavor. So I'm gonna go ahead and introduce that into this bowl. When I'm done adding that, I'm going to seal that up immediately. Yes, so this is our vanilla flavor. The number one is done. And moving over to the strawberry flavor, I introduced my mashed strawberry into the cream. Yeah, this is just fresh mashed strawberries, okay? So when I'm done adding that, I'll mix well to combine and introduce my chunks of strawberries. When I'm done, I'm going to introduce that into this bowl and get it ready for freezing. So feel free to sprinkle chunks of strawberries on top of it. You can as well leave it plain the way it is, okay? And when I'm done introducing the strawberry chunks, I'm going to cover that properly and set it aside. And finally, we're gonna be making our mango flavor, okay? So I introduced my matched ripe mango this mango is very very ripe i mix well to combine and i'll be adding the mango chunks and next i'm going to introduce that into this bowl i'm going to level that properly and i'll sprinkle the mango chunks on top of that feel free to leave that plain if you don't want the mango chunks on top okay so next, I'm going to get them ready for freezing. I'm going to be freezing this for at least 12 good hours. This is to make sure it freezes properly. And this is 12 hours later. The vanilla flavor is frozen and it looks so beautiful. Guys, this tasted amazing. This tasted extremely yummy. Like, if you try this recipe, I promise you, you won't even near the supermarket buying ice creams again this is super yummy okay i enjoy this vanilla with some sprinkles yeah and over here i have the mango flavor oh my god guys this mango flavor tasted super delicious the taste of the mango mixed with the cream is heavily like heavily <laughs> Oh my goodness, please try this recipe and let me know what you think in the comment section, okay? And over here we have our strawberry flavor. This tasted super amazing as well. If you want the taste of this ice cream to be more intense, like this vanilla and the mangoes, try introducing the mango puree or the strawberry puree. 
the purees and the creams taste super amazing very very delicious <laughs> so guys i want to say a very big thank you for watching thank you for staying with me throughout this episode i truly appreciate until i come your way next time remain blessed i love you bye bye